So their expectations for us are, are pretty tempered in terms of what we expect out of VP. However, A, it's Mirage. Everybody knows how to play it. VP have played it twice so far this year, and they won both of them, one of them being yesterday. So I'm not going to count them out, but uh, this could be a pretty hard-fought one. And, and, you know, with how things look on paper and how good Heroic have been on this map traditionally, the expectation they take in pushes to the third. Let's see if that is the case, though. Okay, VP show some form or some dominance. Jay misses the jump on towards short. Not really the end of the world because Heroic are grouping A. Yeah, mid control coming in here from the VP side of things. Heroic, though, opting to keep it simple. They will potentially have been anti stratted and indeed just going in with the utility. So looks like it is going to come down to a full on retake here. Full CT approach as well from the defensive side. They've got a kit available, the smoke to go around. This is going to be a bloodbath. No flashes for either side, so straight in dry. Numbers might just win the day, we'll see. Ooh, timing looking good for the T side. However, all the kills come in the way of the CT side. Reload pulled off by Tessis. Jame on the backside trying to flank things out and find these all important kills. Flying Glocks in towards him, takes kicks in, leaving it all down to Tessis and he can't get it done. Kid available for Norbert. No worries for the pistol. Great pistol. Great, great pistol. Especially how scrappy things are looking. But it's Fame and Jame combining for two kills apiece and Norbert to see it off and it's exactly what you want to see out of this. Coming in towards a map in which you're not being uncomfortable on, but we just don't know all that much about VP on it, you know, this year. That is really good from them. Really solid stuff. And of course, VP starting well on towards that CT side is always going to help. A bomb plant will give Heroic that, uh, that, you know, opportunity and chance at a buy. Kicks that in towards a scout, say, triple Galil set up and just a deagle for Nikodos. Yeah, man. Good start for VP. They can get this uh, CT side rolling the way their T side was. On overpass, then who knows? Maybe. Maybe, just maybe, there's something to work with. Ooh. Flip. Gotta watch himself as Nerd's down below with that pretty scary Galil. Lot of smokes, but that's all they have left on the heroic side of things. Keeping their options open. Again, in terms of a simple execute, potentially. Not just yet. Continue playing slow in towards mid. Presence from the CT side with the weaponry. Maybe going to let down their flip. However, when that smoke goes down, it works beautifully for him. Man advantage. Shush as well spotted out in towards Palace. Ooh, I don't think that smoke is meant to fall down. Kind of puts a spanner in the works for him. And Norbert has an easy kill to take him out. Kixon, the only one left. Tough it. IGL going to lead by exam. Paul, and he spammed down through the smoke. Fame will see it off. And M4, as an upgrade, you'll take every day of the week. 2-0. to zero. Heroic's force by. Puts it away side. Nice and easily. Nice and easily. We'll leave them low in towards this one. VP, get that chance at 3-0 start, of course. Just kind of exactly what you want. This map, uh, like we said, you know, there definitely is a lot of question marks about it. What are we going to see and expect out of this? Who really knows? 2-0. to zero. When VP start things off, is at least going to give them a lot of confidence. They know as well that the buy is going to be low. Norbert. Blank here. Not a huge amount of support. Because they are kind of focusing on mid-aggression. Got plenty of util to work with. Someone faces him into his apartment as well. Drops a smoke from Pillar there and... Can buy time for a, re a reface and a, and a rotate too. So, yeah, this is not a bad little spot to be in. A keen start from Vertus Pro. Exactly what they needed, I think, coming into this was to lay down the law once again. Just got to be careful not to lose too many players to the pistols. And thus far pretty comfortable taking a couple of back and forth fights nothing really presenting for either side though i need to worry too much here i 
35 seconds are heroic. Going back towards A. They've left Fade? Only a USPS there, in all fairness. He might be tested. He will be tested in a second. The drop of smoke thankfully has some level of a rotation, but this could be a little bit more awkward. If he was kind of collapsed upon, it could have been questionable. Flitz. Oh, back turn. Testers will catch him. The bomb spotter going in towards default as well. Fame going to try and deny. He can't. Oh, he does with the USPS. It's enough. It's good enough. M4 comes in. Nikos going to find one, but a 1v3 is a big ask. It makes a 1v2. Hang on a second. Runs out of time. It oh. dies after it as well. Oh. Bad to worse. Bad to worse. That's going to hurt. That really is going to hurt. They can buy here. Kind of everybody, bar Nikos, who again has to wield a deagle. That's all he wielded in the force buy. That's all he's now got here. Yeah. He he needed to die, really, and he just kept getting kills. Mm. Um, so that's a little rough for him. But they will try and deal with this situation that they have indeed been put in. I think it should be uh, all good. Yeah. No, it should be. Time I called by VP, interestingly enough. That's I'm going to enter the fray. Just to uh, make sure nothing goes to a right here. They know they will have a buyout. Of course, bar Nikodos. All in play for Jane, too. So, what's the response of Heroic looking like with Nikodos only on that deagle? Quad AK buy alongside it with a fairly decent amount of util, but not exactly the full belt on most. James spots the hand of one. On top of air burst as well, actually. So, doesn't quite have the lineup properly there. All right, let's see. BP starting to set the tone here on the CT side of things. Heroic have got to make their presence known and. No better time than now. Nikodos, of course, putting the pressure on in the previous round, but to no avail. Nir making a move here. Might be able to find a gap. Molotov comes round and they will get aggressively up connector because of it. Oh, God. Palace play onto Flit. They know where he's at now. He's going to look for a reposition. Setup over on A, though, is pretty solid for vp you have to say a lot of utility downrange from fame got to be careful with this player out on the stairs meanwhile the rotations they're super aggressive tess falls like i said though there's nerds picking up a trade norbert in towards firebox oh, i'm gonna get planted next to him he doesn't quite know what to do who's he looking for here he needs to find something he's all of a sudden alone oh my goodness where did everybody go norbert then i mean what's he do now he's, he's not been checked he's got a kit yeah. Surely not, though, right? Surely. Ah, they're going to know about him now. Not enough time. Not enough time to sort of pull this play off. He needed a bit more bomb tickage before getting away with a sneaky one. Well, well. That's the response we wanted to see out of Heroic. They had to kind of at least have a bit of stability somewhat early. They allowed VP to start rolling with it. Maybe it could have been a little bit of a repeat of that first half of map one. The very least heroic. Now, that round there will hurt VP quite a lot financially. Fame has dropped Flit and M4. Leaving him with no money long term, but everybody else with the ability to buy next. Quite a weird one. Norbert going to play up close. Just the USPS as well. I'm assuming surely gets cleared or anyway, even if they do come towards apartments. It doesn't look like they are anyway. A lot of reliance and onus here on uh, Flit to do something. James on the Zeus. I want to see a Zeus win. There's a player creeping up short. To be fair, Tessus could meet him. Oh, yep. Looks like it. Not sure. Either way, the play itself is going down onto the A-bomb site. The player is activated up on the boost. He picks up one. That might scare them off, but they still feel really confident. 
confident around the A hit. Just a little slower than maybe they had planned. Tessus, meanwhile, continues to hold James. Where's your Zeus gone? Oh my god. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. It was such a good opportunity. Here. It messes it up. No, but on the backside, meanwhile, does a lot of damage, but round itself looks to be secure. Yeah, it just is a question of can flick anything more. Does he even realize as well that Tessus is above him? If he peers any further forward, he could be caught. I think he should be fine, though. And flick even staying alive here should be good, too, in the sense of the bomb radius. It's just the fact of will Tessus clear him. Tessus, looking around. Nobody offering up anywhere backside. So, Flick gets one more. So down towards under. Everybody staying alive. Fame going to try and pick up an AK. But, yeah, that luxury is only briefly. Heroic. Making a one-run game. Two rounds in a row is decent. And now, of course, the fact that staying alive there with their M4. Only drops can come through bar for Hey, even this is an M4 down that I don't see. Oh, there you go. He has got one. It's okay. I'm going to say, staying alive there for uh, for Flip. That's the main thing for him. What's up? Early. Flip. Flashing in as Mir trying to take a fight here. Running away. Mir gets right up in their face. He forces them all the way further back on mid. Big fight from Norbert. In the answer back, in the keeping them at bay kind of round. And of course, their last chance for a little while if they were to lose this. So really, really big frag with the aggression into the B apartments. And Heroic don't really look set to know how to answer. Playing quite timid. Yeah, just go really quiet as well as Mir is making his way through apps. Nobody's here. That lack of information he's gaining is a plus in a way. Smoke going to come over towards ramp. Fame going to play up close. Weary. I'm that Palace player, but Mir caught on the flank. Now they know they're going towards A. That's the main thing. But how do they want to go about this? Fame goes up towards Palace and then he'll go underneath it. Overphasing here is not the play. Low build up. Flash is coming around. Yeah, not a lot of time here now. Oh, it's maybe be the first one to fall. They weren't ready for the second, but he is forced out into the fight. Man advantage for Heroic. How long can they hold it? Can they win the round because of it? Norbert goes wild, but Nika does ready for him. And James says, okie dokie. Now's my time to shine. Moves away for the save and gives Heroic the third. Yeah, James got to save it. The only issue actually in that round there from VP was maybe a little bit of an overextension from Mir. He starts nothing in through apartments, nothing in towards spawn, so he starts wrapping all, to, all the way towards ramp, and that's actually what costs him. If he maybe just pumps the brakes, especially into the plant as well, then he could have had good timing. Speaking of, Jay... Oh my god, this is so dicey, Argy will get it. I say, look, tunnel vision in towards the door frame there. I get the kill. Out of us staying alive. If he can. Running through apartments, one up through short. But he's tucked, he'll be fine. Three rounds apiece. Good work, great work from Heroic. This is the T side. This is the kind of mirage you're expecting out of Heroic, too. You know, they're a very, very good side on this map. They've already proven it in this qualifier alone. And again, looking pretty solid. Overall, I think the Virtus Pro. And we have to question what's the changes are for them. They're gaining a lot of information, but it's actually heroic to them slowing things down. Is That's what's costing uh, Versus Pro a lot of their confidence. They really don't really know what to do or how to play it when they don't have a lot of information. Here, down below, on the CZ, left so unbelievably blind. They are here, I would argue, but not happening for them. It's lit. So the guy you gotta watch this is the guy you gotta be careful of bomb plant coming in he now looks to strike looks to make him two pops out one oh he's trying to be a bit greedy here knife is out and Ooh. he's gonna get it that's a fair way to play it 
Brings it down to the two versus two because James found the kill. Oh my goodness, hold on. Blitz still alive in towards Ben. Stoosh. We were on for just a moment. The moment is fleeting and Jane will once again save. But hey, I think considering the buy and that round in, in its entirety, or I guess the lack of buy more aptly to mention, that's not bad. Three out of five kills and putting a lot of pressures on towards the shoulders are heroic. You take those. And it will at least keep that team set finances sort of at bay. Which keeps them uh, at least manageable where yes, you've got individuals like Shush and Nikodos who are sitting very comfy, but even enough just to make sure Horo don't run away with things and make sure that they don't exactly uh, have three, four rounds left in the back pocket. Let's bro back into that buy. They're obviously alive for a couple of rounds now. Because now we need to see James get active with it. James gets proactive with the orb. He has a bit of a joy to watch, but it is slightly rare at times. Mir going to hear steps for at least one up into his apartments. Two, maybe, in fact, as well. Where he's playing. They've kind of given up B control here because they're not, ex you know, no one's really going to go for an early B pop like this. Mir. Calls that Norbert should play backside just in case. And his call would be correct. Norbert, though, getting a little restless. Oh, got that smoke down. Oh, God, goes in for the jump peak. Oh, okay. He's going to get the smoke on sight and baiting them into mirror a little bit. It works out beautifully. He's got himself a double. Norbert comes back in for some action. Just two remain. Bomb dropped. CTs back of a player spotted, but Norbert obviously tunneling in a bit too hard. He'll get it. Just shoot. Get done. Any damage going to be good here towards the tail end. Just keep this economy low. And he will get another. 13 HP. Three more to find the bomb to retrieve. You would assume you know, it should be over and it is, but still, a couple kills is always good. Yeah, you take him. Uh, just, uh, you know, on the flip side, keeping things manageable. You'll we'll see a heroic call for a pause. That B side shut down. I see play from Norbert had the support of Mir as well, just to make sure that they couldn't actually get out on towards the site. And a good reposition of Norbert anchoring B works well. Or a piece much, much closer showing to start off this map than what we saw in towards Overpass. That's exactly what we want as well. You know, competition at the gates here. Do look as well at likes of Heroic. I mean, what rounds would we say is good enough on the seaside? Probably at least six. Especially with how things have been back and forth thus far and how uh, both of these sides have had their moments. Yeah, I'd say six rounds seaside. way to go about it but we'll see still competition between these two teams exactly what we were hoping for maybe expecting as well opened up looking relentless but heroic since then have been able to match them really solid days coming in fame going to capitalize on it for the first kill of the round bomb trying to make its way in towards the site but uh, proving a little difficult. More kills keep coming in for the CT end. The plant will come round. Fame doesn't dedicate to the spray down, but so much damage being done through these smokes. They will now start to dissipate the battlefield over the door. Who will prevail? Three in from CT. No real opportunities presenting themselves just yet. Neo, four on three still as they'll work their way round. Nerds the next two fall. Kingston and Nikodos to hold the line. Nikodos does well for one. There's a hold on to the bomb here. In and around the smoke. Coming in from Con. And they deal with the flankers. A very intense round there towards the end on the D. Uh, uh, sorry, on the defuse. Yeah. Very nearly felt like he could have gone the other way. Or very quickly could have gone in the favor of Heroic. If that flank was able to pull off. But it wasn't. So, back to VP in the lead. A small, small lead, but one they'll take all the same. You look at Heroic as well. Now back into a low buy. 
We're saying six would be good, and it's getting to the point where six would be you know, great. It'd be a bit of a luxury. No buy here. The expectations are big. Should find it. So then what? Just these pistols. The eagles across the board. Armor's a luxury that only Nerds and Tessas can afford. A bomb plant here would be great. No. How possible that's going to be. Yeah, they're going to try for it, I suppose, but we assume it's not going to happen for them. Shush has a little half a second to line up the crosshair. First kill often the hardest in these types of rounds, so good to get that pressure off your shoulders. Flitz, cheeky now, he's made a fair amount of noise. He's tumbled in here as well. Oh, goodness, they're all peeking in, but it's all good. Assistance comes around, they can't quite land the shots of their own nerds. He's from the D, but he is short lived. Actually, done only the one casualty. We'll take those. We'll take those every day of the week against the, the Eagles across the board. VP locking in that sick. That's good. That really is good. VP. You saw how good their T side as well was on overpass. They're very good at kind of manipulating opponents, especially that are heroic, as we saw, into falling into their traps. and well, if they can do it again, if they can you know, make things fall in their favor and, uh, and continue that spiral and that snowball on teaser that they can do so effectively, then there's a world. That's why you see Heroic Core for their second attack balls. They, they know they're in a bit of a, a bit of a tough spot here. If he, especially if VP guarantee a lead. Granted overpass, and overpass, I say, Mirage is... Uh, at least at the moment, the third most CT side of the map in the pool. So the expectation is the CT side will be in that lead. VP have recovered well from Heroic, putting a lot of pressure onto them. They've actually made this competitive and now in their favor too. Always is going to help. Heroic, buy out here. Who's this one? Especially about a bomb plant. They can struggle to squeeze anything together in the last round of the half. Flip, pushing up mid. Has been a little bit spotted committing to it just kind of scaring them a bit with his presence i suppose they do have a tiny bit of mid control but they actually give it up on the vp side of things i do respect that quite a bit again quiet in the mid round minute and 20 on the clock no kills as yet heroic trying to play a bit of the vp game once again Ooh, stretching out to Flitz in the shadows. He still goes back in for a peek. Very risky indeed. But he will manage to survive. Game looking for the frags. An aggressive peek. At the very least, they keep things even. And Jane going to strike true. Looking good. An advantage here for VP. Ollie at the toes of Shushi is cooking, in it? Oh, nice find as well with the orb. Jane makes it look easy. Last man of Nikodos. Needs a miracle. 1v3. James and here are tagged. And a good find on towards one. Baiting him with the tap on the bomb. And a second tap too. But this time they don't fall for it. Again, they might not fall for this one. Peering round that corner. Oh my god, it's such a messy fight. But Mir will see it off. Virtus Pro find themselves up to a seven. They deny that bomb plant as well. Which just means that Rory don't have a hell of a lot to work with. An AK in full armor, only one man can buy. Kind of shush. Everybody else has to wield with Galil's or less. And in most instances, it looks like it will be less. Shush, that one AK. Double Galil. Act 10 and MP7 for Nerds. Often makes her look like a rifle, so I'm not going to count him out just yet. I look, it's going to quick here. <gasps> being followed and deleted definitely not what he was expecting there kicks in with a nice uh, play in isolation he obviously gets dealt with but dropping jane the orper the impact maker I have a lot of oh my god tell oh my god he's on the other side of this smoke what is going on here <laughs> if he'd stayed there it could have been huge he opted to go through though a very cheeky play from me he will not Get away from it. He does, however, trade off a fair amount of info for that kill. But Norbert also drives people in the dust. Pretty excitable here on the VP side. Not a single kill coming off. 
and it's just flit against four. Yeah, this has been a bit of a weird one. Over face, over fighting, which is very uncharacteristic of VP. Seven to five at the turn of the half. Decent recovery. Can Herrera continue it in a second? Welcome back in. We are indeed ready for the second half. Virtus Pro on their opponent's map pick. Decent enough showing. 7-5. Not quite as one-sided as it was before, but they are just keeping this extra edge that they've had over Heroic the entire series. Small breather. But again, one of the positive notes is VP really good in these pistols. They start off the pistol. It was Mirage. The pistols up through overpass. Also very good for them too. So... Heroic are hoping to break that curse a little bit. They can get a pistol here on the CT side. At least it'll change things. But. All right, I'm saying VP 3 for 3 on pistols. So the odds are with them. Looping towards A and they come. That's up close. Oh, this could be a mess. However, he's not able to get a single frag. The jump out was ready for such a play. They're waiting patiently. P250 could go down to Nico Dawes at the very least on the other side of that smoke. Blue's retrieved here by Flick. Going to get a bit weird. Tessus inside stairs looking to do the damage. It's Kixon who comes around. He's walking into someone and Norbert's like, hold on a minute. Takes him out. Leaving it all onto Kixon. They know exactly where he is. And the flawless pistol run will continue. They needed it as well, I think, for VP. Because they knew Heroic are breathing down the neck a little bit. Just reaffirming how strong they are now with three round gap. If it'll take and they should get a bit of a free round here as well. Heroic have been quite keen on the CT side four spies after losing a pistol. Did it on overpass. Might be tempted to do it here. Kicks and sometimes just call it, but thankfully for me, 
They're going against that. I, I really don't like to go for this. I mean, because they never work. A low buy here. Stacking over towards B. Not a bad call either. Quite a few bodies sort of in this direction. The bomb not committed. Okay. Patient one B is, of course, on the cards. Definitely what we would expect out of them. Sort of faking things out though, Norbert. Making some noise into the mid-round. Drawing some attention. Little does he know he's drawing all the attention in the world. Heroic. Cannot wait for the spectacle that Norbert has got prepared. Unfortunately, he will not commit out on to B. They're just waiting patiently for someone to overstep here. Shush. It is indeed. Oh, he lands, I think, to be fair to him. And now with players deep out on A, they feel pretty confident in the round win. Yeah, they probably, probably should be fine. Swing. Fake. UMP. At range, I don't think you get to say that. And up close here, Jame. Gonna try his best as well. Any more be lovely. Flitters around that corner too, but it's the kill bonus of the SMGs that you want. Oh, it's creeping. Yeah. Money. Okay, only for the one though. However, they'll keep those uh, SMGs in play. Two UMPs. How, how do you feel about that now? You know, a little weird to see two UMPs. Yeah, dude. I, why, right? Why have a slot in your inventory taken up by a UMP? Especially, you know, the MAC-10 is so solid. So, I, for me, the MAC-10 feels like one of the most improved guns into CS2. In Go, it, I, I really never cared about it too much yes it was using kind of force buys but it always kind of felt like meh but i don't think they've even done any changes to it it just feels better in cs2 sounds better as well but uh yeah the ump hasn't really been a good gun in my eyes since like what 2017 or something like that so interesting very few people use it but the ones that do always kind of make it sing for them i guess it's kind of a, a similar sort of connotation what we talk about with nerds using the mp7 right why use the mp7 when the mp9 is basically as good and cheaper but individuals i guess how, how comfortable it feels for them right they 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 understand the spray control i personally hate it i think that gun sucks but you know each to their own if you want to use a ump and you get kills of it i guess i can't complain vv <laughs> now got a four round lead pause called heroic desperately into conversation saw trying to give them something to work with heading in towards a very important round of 15 EP at the fight in this. They crack in towards double digits and break that economy. And they're on track to, you know, a very quick close here towards the finish line. So, this is probably one of the most important rounds thus far for Hero. Yep, certainly feels that way. A bit of damage tagging out early on here. Charge from BP. A fast round from BP. Changing it up. Keeping Ooh. them guessing. Need to dodge. Oh, he will actually, yeah, deny the bomb plant. That... Creates a lot of chaos here. Reloads being pulled off. Split has to go massive. Double spray down. Not quite going to happen for him. Two more to get. And he cannot secure it. VP's madness works against him in the end. And Heroic will get on the board in the first rifle round. And, you know, the real important kills there was the two guys who one by one dived in towards Sandwich. They both get a kill for it. Even though the Palace player spotted them, it wasn't enough. Heroic... Very aggro, but very effective in terms of that retake. Nicely done. BP stunted a little bit, especially Norbert. Left on a wall, a whole lot of nothing. E250 and armor. That's it. Picks up a bit of Uta, which is dropped over too. The rifles around him going to get active. That's not going to help though. Nade does miss. It was meant to go towards top major. Banks in towards under. Pretty confuses Flip more than most. Try and catch this player. Able to do so. Very tentative. Very big round here for both teams. VP with mid control. Heroic have kind of given them that. And it looks like we might see the bomb 
Three towards B with such deep mid control. They fancy their chances in at short. Just got to be careful though, Norbert on the P250. Really not ideal. Waiting for some aggression to come his way. This smoke going to go down and Kixon is weaving. Should be able to catch this kill. Uh, that's really not what they wanted on the VP side, you know. They also call off the short hit. Kixon sticking around. Get one more to clear him ineffectively. Amir will get the trade, but Kixon has already done more than enough damage. One towards back sight. Now, a big moment. Tess has got to come up huge here. He's going to get some support, though, quite quickly from Nurts. I, I feel pretty confident in this hold right now. Nurts gets side swipe, though, the timing, of course. Perfect. Tess can't secure that second, but he's done a lot of damage. Jay, meanwhile, holding the back side. Flick just pushing oh. forwards, only 10 seconds. They don't fancy their chances. Flick going to go down. James trying to help, but not much that he can do. The apartment seems all about. Ooh, the late round move. We just find two on the way out. A little uh, uncharacteristic from James, but Heroic still secure the round. Goodness me, they are coming a bit closer than uh, Comfort would like. Two rounds in it. And, uh, I mean, a lackluster kind of buy in for, for VP, if any, right? I don't think you'd want to do too much here, but we have seen a couple of weird ones. Jamie going to keep on that AK. We'll get the support of Flitting and Deagle, basically, here. Yeah. Flitting Fame. I hope you're having a really good game so far. So maybe the Deagle or the P250 of one of them could get active. They can pick up a rifle as a chance. It was kicked on. That move into the apartment's last round was really solid. Nurse on the first. Jame falling. That's his AK too. Doesn't help, but at least the AK will be scooped up by fame. Yeah, the game is absolutely still on here now. Heroic should bring this within one. Bar some madness. Kicks in on the other side of the smoke here. Just going to chill in the corner, in fact. Playing it nice and safe, and he wants to make some money on what he presumes, and correctly presumes, should be an eco. Creeping forwards, trying to contact in. Tess is the first spot there. Pretty ready, but yeah, just mowed down by that MP9. Unarmored opponents, it will eat for lunch. And now here we are within one round. VP started off in a bit of a trot, but they have since slowed down. Yes, exactly that. Only the one round between these two. VP reinvesting in. James left with just a Tech 9. This is where, you know, these kind of weird situations where if one saves or one buys at time, uniformity of the economy and the investments for Virtus Pro aren't quite there. Big subway and Nerds spawning in the smoke. It's James and a Tech 9 tapping away. That's the only gun they've heard at the moment, so... As long as they don't get overconfident and think it's an eco, they should be okay. But they've, yeah, they've only heard James Tech 9 at the moment. This might tempt them into fights. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Not a lot of utility here for VP. And that is not good signs for my money. They're usually very, very intentional today. Mir tries to get a catch on the other edge of the smoke. No one there, though. So I don't know what you plan on doing here, to be honest. They're very ready for an A hit. Finding that kill makes life increasingly difficult. Flick nearly falling. They are limited here. Flick going to go down eventually. Five versus three. There goes all the utility they have, really. Knife is out from Jamie. You're joking. Oh, my <laughs> God. That is mental fame. Is now alone. Just going to save on four HP. You nearly Close. got it, too. Very, very close. Nikonos, lucky guy. As he kind of desperately doubles back and gets out of there. Oh my god. That was, uh, woo that was a lot closer than it probably... Yeah, probably should have been. Now, they're going to group up and try and hunt him. I think you have a fame here. He's got a decision. He wants to try and die before time. That's the main one. And he will. There we go. Force the hands of shush. A flawless round for Heroic, 9 all. And now this has been a really solid response out of them. Now they've got momentum. All the wins in their sails. And the Avertus Pro, they, they, you know, they're not really looking like themselves, right? A bit of a shadow. 
to what we saw in overpass. They are going to low buy. I said low buy ish here. They're dipping down to about 1k. A couple of these guys flitting. Near only 1,050 left in the bank. That will mean they'll have a, a struggled buy into what's next to a util at the very least. This bomb plant's really got to come through here. More fame. Clean frag, clean trade. They're going to take their time, of course, getting that bomb down. It's Nico who comes in off the back of the flash. Who's going to chime in too? They will get absolutely melted. Lead secured by Heroic and Virtus Pro have lost all of their energy. It is not looking good here. They are struggling here on the T side after a good start. Yeah, and this now feels like it's on track to sort of head in that direction of three maps. Got Ancient as the decider. And we kind of came into the order series saying this is most likely and you know probably going to be the case. They'll take their own map picks relatively easily and then move on forward. And this is exactly sort of how it's feeling now. Eyes do come through both ways. Uh, it's got himself an AWP. It's done a bit of secondary orping on this team as well. Actually, based on his spawn. Crossed! Oh my god, they crossed. Dirt scored by the flash. He turns from it and re crossed mid. Not what he wanted. Mid, so lucky, man. However, there's a player in window that he's not really expecting. Tessus, meanwhile, is playing super safe. Doesn't want to give his life away. Flash coming in, but he's too late. Oh, he's going to spot the tip of the head. Gets a. Bang on the minimap. And you know what? VP may well just be playing off of that. Look at this. Look at this. The rotation across from Heroic, and I reckon they are. You know, they were headed towards B, and then Mir gets spotted. And they have outbrained their opponents. Might just secure the round without even needing a kill here on the A bomb site. We'll see. Shush is close to the action. But yeah, they're still not buying it on that CT side, by the way. Little gap. Shoes tries to play around it, but he will fall, and that's a save for Heroic. Yeah, it has to be. Has to be. It does feel like if Nerds would have kept his teammate alive in towards top mid, he probably would have been okay there. Yeah, no, not to be. Nerds, Tessas, and Kicksan will just save. Tessas might get a fight here, but I think if you're a VP, you don't want to fight. You're the one with the feeble econ. You're the one who's not got a whole lot left in the purse. So yeah, make sure that you're okay, Tessus. Won't get tested. It looked like Mir was at least tempted, but not to be. Bomb goes off. It's VP tying this game right back up. Ten apiece. Neither side budging at all. Nobody even being given an inch of space in this map, in this series. That's exactly what we want. An upper bracket final with an IEM Dallas spot on the line. Heroic knows how much these next few rounds will mean to stay alive in the series. To have the potential for that Dallas spot. They're going to go for the pause. A third pause here as well. So. So. What does he notice? What does he see? And of course, also an opportunity for Dastan as well. Him to enter that conversation. But yeah, where we kind of find ourselves now. This is anybody's game. She has heroics funds. Not just yet, but slowly are starting to be depleted. Yes, Tessas and Kicksan are okay. The rest of the team, they've got like a couple of buys in them. If EP finds some consistency. One or two more rounds in a row. They can put some real pressure on towards heroic. Not only just in terms of the rounds of they face but also the finances too that's one of the considerations that heroic have got to keep in mind especially in some of these you know attempts at retakes they might even just be tempted to save they were the hardest team all of go to put away virtus pro and we'll see if that title remains for them into cs2 a b lead i like it something kind of different They've put a lot of energy into mid and A in most of their T-side rounds. So going for a straight-up B execute might just be exactly what they need. And you can see over there, there is only Nikodos in the market. And it is a market, not a kitchen. Either way, they're trying to fake things out here on mid. Nikodos starts to commit a bit deeper in. 
And we'll see. This could get messy, but it could work. Off and out. Tess is going to be tested. Take it off support blind back side. Tess is going to at least get one himself. Tess has nerd to Nikodos. All oh, coming alive for a moment here. Nikodos just trying to play around back pillar. Keep them at bay while he buys time for a rotation more. But he swings. He's going to be in trouble. He will be. Nikodos on one more. And what a flip to close it. Three kills to his name. Heroic stay alive. And they find themselves a much needed 11th. Man. Every round, you know comes down to the inches the millimeters the seconds of timing they just managed to get the read heard that jump across to short and honestly i think you know again classic vp you maybe overthink things you didn't need the short presence how are they to know there's only one on b i suppose but honestly you know i like the idea initially of a straight up b execute to try and make that work it really could have done for them but they have to get each and every parameter perfect before they move forwards. And it was that time that Heroic were able to work with. Just get that player in through the smoke of the market window and it makes all the difference. Yeah, it does. Quiet in this one. That's us bro. This is the big one. They want to be able to have that opportunity of taking this 2-0. to zero. A lot of it comes down to this. If they are to lose in round number 22, especially if they don't get a bomb plant either, it's going to be so, so damn poor. And it's going to really have a knock-on effect. All right. That Dallas spot. So far, and what we see in this series, this is the most important round. Take this. That feels like it's under lock and key. I want to towards window. Rory can not want to face him towards mid. They're actually relinquishing all of that control. Oh, that comes towards eight. Nice find from Norbert. No, it's not looking to give his position away here. Just trying to find a good timing. He's going to keep on going, but they were very ready for that. Five versus three with 30 seconds left. We need a hero here. Tessus is strike one. Bomb goes down. I don't know, man. It might just be a save, to be honest. There's loads of cash for heroic, though. I feel like maybe you do give it a look, and Tessus is trying to convince them. Hickson's quite far away from the mixer here, but... As I say, Tessa's doing God's work right now, keeping the dream alive of oh, this round. And Mir, he's just spun around at the worst possible time. An easy frag for Kixon. Not a lot of time left on the bomb. That's the only thing that VP have got working for them at this point. Fame just digging for a bit of information. Norbert hidden away. They've got a smoke onto the bomb. Now a hole in the game. Just make it in. It's not quite enough damage, but he oh. gets him off it in the end. And that will make all the difference. Tag even lands. Fame, the unkillable, will find 11. Down to the bomb. Nobody's surviving the round, but all that VP care about is they've got the round. They found it. They've tied it up again. And they've kept just that door open. About right, the 2-0. However, with everybody dying for Virtus Pro, there is, like we were always saying, that knock-on effect. Yes, they get a bomb point. Yes, they get the round. It's not exactly like it's a fruitful buy here for them. Triple AK, a Mac 10 for Norbert, and Jame on just a Tech 9. Even then, and left pretty limited. Aren't just still remaining heroics court, and even kicks on right full buy for him. It's still a six thousand in his back pocket. VP, they want to pop B. It's flits for the first. Finding testers that's so important. Just a numbers game. Numbers game can make all the difference. Robert bursting forwards with the Mac Ten, trying to oh track this player. What is going on with the killer right now? Norbert knows he's going to be around this one. Back. It's a beautiful one. Going to get caught reloading in the end. Nika does. Meanwhile, has dropped another from short. And the bomb has yet to be able to make it out. Great little flash from Norbert. Again, playing it a bit safe here. Maybe giving the time and the space across. Norbert goes digging in. This is a risky, risky move. Nerds is ready for this fight. Norbert not going to give it to him after a bit of a shoulder check. He does some decent damage, but it's not quite enough. And you can see the tension for Heroic. They absolutely cannot afford to lose this round. James spotting another leg out towards short. They know that there's a fair bit of short presence on the way. Then it's a really difficult setup to get past. How does Nertz get involved? 
Jane just watching the corner. It's all about timing, really creeping forwards. Nerds comes in, finds Norbert, but he's lost his teammate. There's not a lot of time. Jane with the timing catches all the switch ups and flip will clean it up. 12 to 11. What a turnaround, man. What a response. VP looked dead and buried, but you can never count this team out. Look where we find ourselves now. Kicks has not going to have a great buy. Nerds might be in a similar sort of position. MP9 for both of them. VP played that so well in apartments as well. They heard kicks and jumping, and he was jumping on the same timing. Jump, two seconds, jump, two seconds. And just as he lands, they then pop out. And they know they're going to catch him off guard, and they do. Really solid work. And also, as well, Flip found that killing towards mid. It just gave them the numbers advantage in that round from the get go. Heroic now or never for life line of uh, staying alive and having the opportunity of taking this Dallas point in the upper bracket. Of course, not the end of the world for whoever loses in this matchup. Because they do have that consolidation final tomorrow. You want to close it out now. You want to go flawless throughout the upper bracket. So far, VP are one point away from doing that. They are indeed pretty close. Kicks him. Ready to go. It's Nika Doz finding Flit. Oh, this could get a bit scary. Damage. Oh, they might get caught. Trying to do the boost up, though. Kicks him. Thank goodness he had an MP9 there. I think any other weapon might have been a bit too awkward for him. There with a big trade back. Tess is the next to fall. Three versus three on plant. Coming soon, you'd think. They're giving a lot of time across here before getting the bomb down. Often good to reset the game back to the neutral. We'll get the plant in eventually, just expecting somebody else to be here. Not the case. However, big kill from James, and that might turn the tides. 13 on the horizon, Dallas on the horizon. Miriam for another, it's just shush. There's a couple low HP players. It's definitely not out of the question for him. Takes out James. He doesn't have a lot of time to work with. But he has made the job a hell of a lot easier from this position. He knows that Mir is somewhere around the site, but where is Fame? He's taking it slow, does not have that kind of time, and Mir will drop him. 13-11, 2-0 for Virtus Pro. A hard fight, but they will be our first team securing a spot at IEM Dallas. Undeserved. Virtus Pro, what a performance. What a run as well from them. You know, made to work for it. It goes without saying, Mirage, we weren't too sure how that map was going to look. but that